show you a quick tip on how to use your aqua painters to color this little birthday cake on the card that I stamped today. Um, I am going to be using the Big Day stamp set, which is one of the free celebrations items. So if you don't know about celebrations, it goes until March, the end of March 2015. This is one of the sets that's available free with a $50 order. So you might want to check out that special. When we're using an aqua painter, we want to be sure and use the stays on ink. This is a solvent based ink. It's a permanent black. It comes with this little lid. You don't want to throw that away when you get it. You want to be sure you keep that because that's what keeps your ink pad nice and juicy from drying out. <coughs> So we're going to stamp that with our stays on black and the aqua painters are filled with water. You just screw the lid off, put regular tap water in it. I do keep a little paper towel handy to dry it off in case it gets a little oversaturated. The Stampin' Up! ink pads are designed to um, create a little well of ink in them so you can use it like um, a little paint palette. And I'm just going to take my aqua painter and go across here like this. The thing about watercoloring is it's not an exact art. You want to leave a little white, um, it's called omitting, <clears throat> for shading. And where the stamp has these darker images, the lines, it shows you where the shading is supposed to be so you can go in and just add a little bit more ink. And to clean this out you're just going to squeeze it a little bit and rub it. Now I'm going to take our Calypso Coral. I'm going to decorate our frosting a little bit. So we're just going to go in here like this. This is a little darker. I'm not going to worry about omitting because they're so small. Grab a little more ink. It's kind of like having your own markers when you have... Um, we do have the Stampin' Right markers and I'm just going to color that little flame with my marker, but you could use an ink pad. <clears throat> and now I'm going to take some smoky slate, and what this does is I'm just going to create a little shadow around this whole um, watercolored image. It just kind of sets off your image and gives it a little bit of a neat look. I'm not exactly sure the artistic reasoning for it, but um, it does kind of set off your stamped image. So that is your quick tip today, how to color um, with aqua painters and ink pads. Hop over at my blog www.stampstodiefor.com for the complete details on this card and anything I've shown you today you can purchase at my online store. Hope to see you there. Happy stamping! Mm -hmm.